35 cents a pack, three for a dollar, unbelievable pricing, that's the future of a blue collar worker, and I'm talking about ramen, the shit will fill you up when you're feeling like an African, come back when you're in the state that I'm in, and say hi to my homeboy top ramen. DJ Doobie with you right here on Radio Dojo, just a quick tutorial to show you something that my daughter bought me for my birthday, so this is a tie clip or lavalier microphone. Very small omnidirectional microphone so it can pick up sound patterns no matter where the sound is coming from anywhere within the vicinity of the microphone. You don't want to get it too far away or it's not going to pick up anything. So this is the microphone that I normally use when I'm DJing. It's a, it's a directional microphone. It claims to be more of an omnidirectional microphone but it actually it works a lot better if you're if you're looking right at it or if you're somewhere nearby. But uh, if you put it too far away or you turn your head one direction or the other, you can definitely tell a distinct difference when I'm talking. So what I'm going to do is turn down. You can see right down here is my sound card. And we're going to turn down the volume on this mic. There's a few settings that I had to adjust in order to allow this microphone to work. Instead of working in the line-in mode, which uh, some microphones are able to use, it has to work in instrument mode. Uh, basically just gives more headroom for audio to come through. So it, it, it basically, it's, it's putting out a lower level of audio, so it needs to be pumped up in order for it to work. So right now, as long as I'm not moving around too much, you won't hear... But if, if I start touching it, and you also noticed when I held it up here, you can tell a difference in my voice. You want it down here because this is the, this is the actual pickup that, that is going to hear the sound. So you want that facing upwards, and you want it below the source of the sound. And why it's called a tie clip is because it comes with this tie clip. So what we'll do is turn down the sound so you don't hear all the rattling it's going to make. I'll turn up this microphone in the meantime, but uh, just to set the clip the way that you want it to clip onto the fabric. So I want it out and away from the body. So you put it like that. And then you slip the microphone down in through the top. And we'll get this microphone out of the way. We'll turn it down and turn... But uh, now, it's hard to see because it's down here, but... Uh, I could actually move it up a little bit. Like I said, you're going to hear all the noises it makes, so you want to try to put it somewhere where you're not going to brush against it because it's going to pick up all that noise. And actually, this is a bad example because it needs to be kind of in a centralized location so that it can pick up your voice properly. So actually, what I'm going to go ahead and do is just double over some of the fabric on my shirt here and make sure that it's put right under. One of the advantages, uh, the, the sound quality is definitely going to be different from a, a microphone like this, which is a more expensive microphone. It also uses phantom power, so it has a better pickup inside of it to pick up the sound. It's more sensitive to different frequencies. Uh, but the, the nice advantage of this is once you get it turned up and set just right, it is omnidirectional so it's going to pick up a lot of sounds like you might hear the uh, sound on the fan on the computer when I'm talking. Um, right now the software I'm using actually uh, has a gate on it that gates out the noise when I'm not talking. But uh, what's nice about this is I can put a nice long extension wire on this and then if I need to show something way back here away from the computer and this microphone isn't going to extend far enough to get close to my mouse uh, but it's going to, to pick up the sound no matter where I'm at, no matter which way I turn my head, even though depending on the position of the microphone, it does sound like it's, it's picking up a little bit better over there. But uh, that's just uh, a microphone that uh, Jessica got for me for my birthday. And uh, if you have a local Radio Shack in your mall, it's probably getting rid of a lot of stuff at a very low price. So uh, check it out, see if they have anything like this still laying around. And that's just a short and sweet tutorial. DJ Doobie, Radio Dojo. Peace.